Ah, what's in the box? <laughs> Don't worry, it's not Gwyneth Paltrow's head. Actually, maybe that's a bit of a spoiler. Sorry if you've never seen that movie. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. I don't know about you, I think it's time for an Average Girl Tries. If you've never seen my Average Girl Tries series before, it's largely just me embarrassing myself, mostly. There's a whole playlist on this channel, and I always say it's pretty much what it says on the tin. I'm pretty sure I say that in every video, but it's really true. This average girl right here, who's just moisturized her face, so it looks alarmingly shiny right now. This average girl likes to try all the stuff that we see the top big wig beauty YouTubers using all the time and raving about. I like to find out whether they're actually any good if you're somewhat limited in funds, so you have to be a little more selective, and you're also somewhat limited in the worlds of talent. Um, I'm not very good at blending eyeshadow. I don't really... I just make it up as I go along, to be quite honest. And today we're going to be putting to the test a brand which I am so excited to get stuck in with and have a little crack at. I've heard a lot about it. I feel like it's a very youtube -y makeup brand. Today we're going to be testing pretty much a full face of Ofra Cosmetics. Ofra? Ofra? Offred? Off Glen? Handmaid's Tail Makeup? Has that been made yet? If not, there's a real gap in the market. I actually think I've only ever seen maybe one or two YouTubers that are British using this brand. I'm not sure how like super readily up for grabs it is in the UK yet. However, it is definitely a big deal over in the States. I associate this brand with Nikki Tutorials. I associate this brand with Manny MUA. I'm pretty sure I've seen Jeffree Star use it before kind of a big deal these people and uh, this is the prime example of why I do this series because I don't know all the big US brands I think you on commission mate are you making a few dollars by saying that this is good so if you guys do enjoy this one then please do give it a little thumbs up if there are any brands you would like to see pop up in average girl tries in the future any makeup brands any clothing brands any beauty techniques, any treatments, all of the good stuff. Um, I'm looking for some suggestions and some ideas of what you guys would like to see for this. So head down into the comments and let me know. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. And uh, let's get started with Average Girl Tries Ofra Cosmetics. Ofra Cosmetics. So in the interest of being as transparent as cling film, yep, that's a good example. I was very kindly sent all these bits and bobs from Ofra themselves. Um, however, I'm not being paid to do this. They didn't ask me to do this. I just thought it would be a cracking AGT. Ofra eyeshadow. I'm interested. Tell me more about that. Tell me a little more, huh? Tell me more, tell me more. That sounded like I was saying Demi more. Demi more, Demi more, like does he have a car? This is the Ofra Pro Palette Professional Eyeshadow Palette. Go from bronzy to smoky with this mixed eyeshadow palette. Sounds like you're expecting a lot from my skills already there. Don't get your hopes up. This isn't going to be impressive. <laughs> I actually can't remember what this looks like. I, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I was going to say I think I played it safe and went for some colours that I knew I would have some vague ability with. Uh, turns out I didn't do that at all. Am I okay? Right, well, I'm not really sure where to start here. We've got um, we've got a few play it safe neutrals down this side. We've got some very smoky colours going down here. I've just wiped that all over my finger, great. I'm intrigued by this purple. I've got to say, I'm into the purple. See, this is what I mean, palettes like this. I just panic because I haven't got the skills. I'm just gonna go for it. That's what makeup's about, isn't it? That's that's what it's all about. Oh, I've literally got that everywhere. That was really messy and all I did was apply bronze eyeshadow. Now, I think I've probably done this the wrong way around. <laughs> just for a change. Um, but do you know what? I'm gonna use this purple. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it. It's not good. I mean, the palette itself is really good. My abilities? Not so much. <sighs> I gotta have to start again. This is... This is bad. This is real bad. Wow, if my life was a film, that would have just been the moment where the narrator over the top was like, it was at that moment that Lucy realized she'd messed up. Okay, we go again. I'm just gonna use that purple on its own because I feel like that could be quite cool, actually. I basically ended up with that all over my eyelids. Had a bit on my chin, so um, that's how the application went. Well, I think we all learned something from that. I think we all learned 
don't over egg it. It's actually a little bit patchy. It's taken me quite a long time to make it look even this semi-decent. I love the colour itself. I think this palette has loads of potential if you are talented with eyeshadow and you don't panic like I do. However, what I'm starting to learn from these videos is that when new palettes like this come out full of colours, if you don't know what to do with them, it's not a whole lot of point really, unless you're buying them to practice, practice, practice and learn how to use them. Whereas I'm too lazy to do that. And I've also popped on a bit of mascara, which is Benefit Bad Gal Bang. I don't have an O for a mascara. Uh, but let's get started now with some base products. These I'm really excited to have a go with. This feels really heavy actually. So this is the Facelifting Flash Primer. Facelifting. Wow, sounds like something I need. So apart from lifting my face like this, firm and tighten your skin's appearance for up to eight hours. Well, that sounds marvelous. Oh, it smells like something, it smells quite like old lady soapy. That's not a, like the refreshing scent I was expecting it to have really. But it feels really nice on my skin. It feels like a really lightweight moisturizer. However, if you're bothered by scents, this might not be the one. It really smells like something my nan might have got from the Avon catalogue. Feels quite tacky, which actually I guess for a primer is probably a good thing because surely that means that the foundation's actually gonna stick where you put it. Apparently it consists of refined and naturally occurring minerals, algae, and seaweeds. There's nothing I love more than putting algae and seaweeds onto my face. <laughs> Ofra Absolute Cover Foundation. I think they had a couple of different foundations, but this was the one I decided to go for. Full coverage foundation made with silk peptides. I'll be honest, I had to guess the colour, so I went for the lightest one possible, and even this looks like it might be a little too tanned for this girl who never leaves the house. It's actually really quite watery. This is running all over the show. Um, I've never really seen anyone rave about Ofra foundations, I don't think, but let's give it a try. I've got no idea how much I'm gonna need. Not a clue. I actually quite like this eyeshadow. <laughs> In an unexpected plot twist, it's not too bad. With eyelashes on, mascara just saves everything, doesn't it? What is happening there? Can you see this? I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It's gone all like, it's all like bobbling where I've put the primer. Give me a goddamn break, huh? Maybe I'll just use my hands. Maybe it's the sponge. It literally looks like I'm shedding a new skin. I'm a lizard queen. That has not worked well with that primer, which is it's the same brand. What? I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna hope for the best, although it does seem to be happening all over my face, which is just great. Wow, this foundation, not the one, literally not the one for me. My skin hates this. Hates it with the fire of a thousand suns. It's like the two formulas have like reacted badly together and gone all like, whatever this technical term is. Absolute cover. I'm gonna go for more like absolute disaster. I'm just gonna be honest here. Let's try and save this with a concealer that I trust. This is the Makeup Revolution one that I use all the time, Conceal and Define. Do you call it pilling, I wanna say? When it like all like balls up into little, I don't know, it looks like someone sharpened a pencil across my face. Okay, concealer is freshened things up a little bit, but I still got like weird patching, like this weird texture all over my face. I'm hoping you can see it, but if you, even if you can't, take my word for it, it's a bit gross. Rather than a powder bronzer though, I picked this up from Ofra, which is the Skin Sculpting Wand. And this is in the shade Sunrise. And I think this is like a contour and highlight type product to like put a bit of definition in your face. Although, nope. Maybe this brand is for people who live in the Californian sunshine. Cause even the palest colors are not. It's not happening. I was hoping that this would be like a nice cool brown tone that I could then use to shade my cheekbones a little. Fool the world into thinking I have cheekbones. No, that just looks so orange and muddy on me. Do you know what I had visions of this being? I had visions of this being like the Kim Kardashian contour that everyone raves about. It's not to be. To be or not to be? 
Not to be. There you go, I've answered it for you, William Shakespeare. Oh, you know that it's not going well when you have to just turn to another brand to save the day. So I'm gonna to turn to my good old trusty Benefit and put on some of their powder and some of their Hoola bronzer just to try and make this look slightly more normal. I'm really glad I didn't test this for the first time while getting ready for a night out or something. Cause I probably, if I was getting ready under a time limit and I was actually going somewhere with this <laughs> rather than just sitting at home for the rest of the day, there might be tears. In a cruel twist of fate, the cruelest twist of irony going, I feel like the facelift primer has maybe even made my face sag more than usual. I feel like my forehead lines are extremely prominent right now. I'm gonna show you. Normally I hide them quite well. I've got products that do that for me. These, nope, there they are. Ah, fretting, something looks weird. Oh, I haven't got any eyebrows. That's why this was all going wrong. I haven't put my eyebrows on. I really truly hope you can see the colour difference that's going on between my face and my neck right now. <laughs> I'm trying to save it by bringing the bronzer down a bit, but it's actually laughable. It looks like I've had a head transplant. All in a day's work at my makeup desk. Something that surely has to be fine. Like, I don't think I've ever used a blush that hasn't been all right. I do really like the packaging as well. It's very kind of like heavy, it feels nice. Ooh, and this has got a really satisfying little magnetized lid as well. Forget everything I've said previously. This just saved the day. This is the Ofra Br- This is the Ofra- This is the Ofra Br- <laughs> Ofra Blush in the shade Bellini and it looks absolutely beautiful. It's just this very, very simple, subtle, peachy shade as the term Bellini would suggest. That's really pretty, I really like that. I feel like on my normal coloured complexion that will look quite pretty. At the moment I don't think I've ever seen myself look this cakey. That foundation and that primer. I don't know what they did to me but I've come out of this video a new person. I've got a newfound respect for the foundations that I enjoy. <laughs> this maybe even looks worse than the makeup I used to wear to school when it was Dream Matte Moose era. There is truly only one thing for it that can possibly save this whole face right now. My entire head is hanging in the balance. And that's to just whack a load of highlighter on, isn't it? That just saves the day every time. This is the thing that I am most excited about. I feel like this is quite a legendary product now. This is the Nikki Tutorials X Ofra collaboration. I, even I know what this is. I think it's like hilariously highlightery. Oh my days. This looks like an ornament I would hang on my Christmas tree. It's in the shade Glazed Donut, which is a hilarious name. I really enjoy the name. And uh, let's just look at that for a minute. I told you it looked like a Christmas ornament. I would truly hang that at the top of my tree. That is a thing of beauty. That's a lot. That is a lot. That is absolutely nuts. Like literally nuts. It actually reminds me of one time that I used a new highlight thinking that it looked really pretty and it was quite intense like this. And then I went and saw Adam while I was wearing it and he said, it looks like you've rubbed your face along a car. <laughs> if you are into your full your full whammy, the full Monty, you can leave your hat on style of makeup. I mean, I'm, I feel that like you'd be all over this. I feel like I've been polished, like Mr. Sheen, like, or maybe just like put into like a bowling ball polisher. <laughs> you know that episode of The Simpsons where Homer works in the bowling alley and he puts his head in the polisher? That's exactly <laughs> what it looks like I've done to my face, like for everyday use. You might want to alert NASA before you step out the house. <laughs> Can't stop looking at it. Do you know what? The longer I wear it on my face, the more I think I look like some kind of porcelain doll. And that is what a lot of the big gurus go for, isn't it? So actually, I can imagine that if you love full makeup, this would be a highlight of dreams. I'm quite alarmed by the way that I look right now. I never ever wear this much makeup. So that's glazed donut. I do indeed look like some kind of deliciously iced treat. There is one thing I need in this life right now, and that is a makeup spray to try and alleviate the claustrophobia that I'm feeling with all this makeup on. What's the, uh, what's the spray action like here? Oh, it's got the same scent as the primer did. I think I prefer the scent of this though, actually, which is lucky because I'm about to take a small shower 
that was a, it's quite a wet makeup spray. <laughs> My face is extremely wet. That actually feels a lot better. How's it looking? I do feel like that's helped actually. I almost feel like <laughs> like one big wet blob in my forehead. And last but not least, let's do some lips. Interestingly, this is another YouTuber collaboration, this product. Um, this is Ofra X, X Factor Manny MUA. There is three shades in this little set. They all look really beautiful, actually. They're just like classic nude colors. This one here is Charmed, which is described as a rosy mauve. This one in the middle is Hypno, which is a deep burgundy. And this one on the end here is Aries, which is a peachy nude. Is this gonna go? Almost certainly not. Oh, it smells nice though. It smells cakey. Okay, that is a really lovely lip product. I mean, as much as I don't really know what I'm talking about, I, as much as the next girl, own a lot of liquid lipsticks, and I'm sure you get what I mean when I say that if you go for a nude colour, it can take ages to get like an even, non-streaky coverage going on. But the colour itself, if I had some neutral eyes going on, is beautiful. I'd call it quite peach, actually, but it's really, really pretty. The formula's gorgeous, feels really comfortable, it was super duper easy. Now let's try Charmed, which is a rosy mauve. Rosy Mauve, that'd be a good drag name. Oh, that's actually really similar to my natural lip color. That is so pretty and so easy to wear. I feel like it almost looks like I don't even have any lipstick on. It's just like my normal lip color. That's really, really nice, I love that. That's one of my absolute new fave lipsticks. And last but not least, let's go for Hypno, which is the darkest of the bunch. All three of those are absolutely banging, I love them. I would totally buy more of those colors. They're like perfect, I absolutely love them. I wonder what the staying power's like. Hmm, really, really good. That's actually made me more intrigued to try A, more of the Ofra lip products because that seems to be where it's at. And also Manny's makeup line. So that, um, that was a roller coaster. That was some ups, that was some downs. Let's focus on the good stuff though. So absolutely, if you are skilled in the eyeshadow department, beautiful, so beautiful if for nothing but this purple. However, if you are like me and you stick to your neutral browns at all costs, you've got to wonder whether you actually really need these palettes or are they just really pretty? If you collect makeup, then that's different. Full marks for the highlight as well because it's highlighting. It's really highlighting. But for me, the standout of all that bunch has got to be the lip products. I absolutely love those. I might even take all three on holiday. Whoa! The base products threw me off a little bit there, but everything else I really, really enjoyed. That is Average Girl Tries Ofra Cosmetics. I hope maybe if you've been a little bit curious about this brand, this has given you a little bit of an insight of maybe where to start with it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I cannot wait to have a chat with you in the comments all about it. I want to know if you've ever tried Ofra Cosmetics. Have you seen it all over YouTube and been kind of curious and intrigued? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. It really helps me out, so that would be great. And if you do want to stick around for more, then don't forget to hit the red subscribe subscribe button, which is down there somewhere. Don't forget you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. They are both at Lucy Jane Wood, and I will see you guys very soon with another video. Goodbye. Goodbye. I feel a little bit like the Joker. This is a very Joker colour combo, actually. It's a vibe. <laughs>